Hi, my name is Nikita Thomas, and this is my tutorial for basic beading for beginners. Here we have the materials, glue, tweezers, pliers, a thimble, thread, a plate for your beads, and the beads and some scissors, and also the pop socket and the cap for your centerpiece. So we're going to start by gluing the cab to the felt. I firmly placed the cab onto the felt and pressed down to make sure it is secure to start beating. Then I begin cutting the felt and sizing it to the shape of the cat. As you see here, I've finished cutting the piece of the felt, and this is the cab I've chosen. You're then going to grab a needle and some thread. You're going to thread your needle. You're going to cut the amount of thread that you need. A little goes a long way. Once you've cut your thread, you're going to then thread your needle. You're going to double it up. You're going to take the opposite end and thread it through the needle eye hole. It's kind of tricky, but you'll get it over time. Keep trying. Once you've doubled up your thread, you're going to tie a knot at the end, like you see here. I have a hard time, so I'm using a pair of tweezers. Pull, 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 until it's a very tight knot. Now you're ready to start beating. So you're going to come up with the needle behind the back of the felt, close to the cab as much as possible. You are then going to pull your needle and the thread through the hole from the back of the felt until you reach the knot. We're now ready to pick up beads. I choose to pick up three beads. You are then going to take your three beads and run it to the bottom of the thread, close to the cap as much You're as possible. You're going to begin by pushing your needles to the bottom of the thread as far as possible so it is tight and there is no gapping within your work. You are then going to put your needle through and in front of the first bead and come up behind the last bead. When you're going up behind your beads, you're going to want to get as close as possible. Once you believe you're as close as possible to the beads, you are then going to pull your thread through all the way to the end, and then put your needle through the eyes of the beads, all three of them, and pull your thread through the rest of the beads until the very end. That is called tacking. Tack down your beads, you're going to hold it down in place with your thumb and pull the thread tightly to make sure they are secure. An upcoming video is a time lapse of me putting the beads through. Here is a mini tutorial on how to attach rhinestone banding. You will come up behind the banding and then thread your needle through the felt and put your needle through the first row of beads and then pull through and that is the way you will tack down your rhinestone banding. This is my finished product of a beaded pop socket after completing the edging. Thank you for watching my tutorial.